Hello, everyone, and welcome to this special edition of the Belmont Journal, Belmont's own program for hyperlocal news and community affairs programming. I'm your host, Roger Colton. As the coronavirus affects the Belmont community, one of the leading institutions that people have been asking about is the Belmont Food Pantry, because people are missing work, people are missing incomes, and the food pantry becomes more important than ever. In order to let you know what's going on with the food pantry, I have with me today Lori Graham, who is one of the coordinators of the volunteers at the food pantry and is on the food pantry board. Lori, my understanding is the food pantry will be open on Saturday, March 21st, and then you're going to have a temporary closure. Can you explain what's going on? Uh, certainly, and thank you, Roger, for, uh, for doing this. It helps us get the word out to the community because I know that people are concerned. Um, tomorrow, uh, we'll be open for our regular hours, which would have been the third Saturday of the month. We'll be open for clients from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. Uh, the difference is that instead of having clients coming into the pantry, we're going to have them be lined up either as walkers or in their cars outside of town hall. And can and I interrupt you? Can I interrupt sure. you for a minute? When yeah. you say tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday, March uh, 21st. 21st, exactly. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but nope, go ahead. No problem at all. So normally what we do is have our doors open. People come in. They pick what they want um, out of a selection and then exit. Um, this time what we're going to have to be doing is we're going to we have prepared pre-packed bags that will have both food and some paper products in them. They will have um, oatmeal, rice, cereal, some vegetables, canned fruit, uh, tuna, chicken, some soup and pasta and peanut butter and jelly, so some staples that will get people through um, through at least you know, as long as we, we can. Um, also some uh, paper towels, some toilet paper, some of the products that are hard to find. Um, what we'll and, have is, yeah. And, and people won't be making these choices. You say that these are all pre-packed. Pre -packed. You, right. you drive up, you get your bag, and uh, right. what's in the bag is in the bag. It is in the bag. And we'll have two bags per, per, per person or per okay. family. We'll meet people outside of the food pantry, put the bags in their cars, and, and then people can, can leave. Um, we know it's a limited amount of time and that it may be difficult for some people to come to the pantry tomorrow. So we're working on ways of being able to distribute food um, to people's houses or to some, um, to some centers where, where people live. Um, but we're not quite sure how that's gonna happen yet. <clears throat> Just okay. so that people know, this is also open. Usually the food pantry is available to people who pre-registered. And we have a whole process that we go through to do that. This time, the pantry is open to anybody who's in need. So okay. people who may not have been to the pantry before are certainly welcome to come. Um, we're going to be closed on the um, Sunday, the 22nd, which is the day after tomorrow, and Tuesday, the 24th, which would have been our normal times to be open. And that's just so that we can reassess the situation, see if we can fine tune some of the distribution see if we can be working with some other organizations to help us do distribution of food and see what the need is because we are expecting that, um, that we will have more people who are in need. Even so, on a temporary so let's basis. reiterate that uh, one more time. You'll be sure. on Sunday the 22nd and Tuesday the 24th when you would normally be open, but it's important for people to realize that that is a temporary closure, just to, to give you some breathing space to figure out exactly. what's going to go ahead. Because okay. this is new to all of us. So um, we if, yep. if you're distributing food, that must mean that you're still taking donations as well. Can you talk uh, to us about how people can help you provide the assistance that you do? Well, we are going to be doing, um, we are going to be having people can come in on Saturday tomorrow um, from 10 to 11 and drop food off. But since town hall is closed to everybody other than people who work there, there's no drop off during the week. And there normally isn't a drop off during the week anyway. 
it's only drop off when we're open. So if people want to come between 10 and 11 tomorrow and drop off bags of food, that would be wonderful. We are looking at seeing if there's a way that we can be doing pickup um, throughout the week. Uh, Pickups like of donations. Donations, sort of like, you know, Belmont serves where there's a route and people leave food on their front porch and pick it up. I don't know if that's going to happen. We're not quite sure yet. We're still trying to work with different organizations about this, but we will be doing something so that we can be picking in donations. And, and we always take money. Okay. Um, so if, if someone wants to donate, uh, donate funds, they write a check to the Belmont Food Pantry right. and drop it off, just drive by and drop it off at Town Hall tomorrow. Um, yep, yeah, they can do that. Um, also, they can always mail it to P.O. Box 291 is our normal post office box. Okay, P.O. Box 291, Belmont, Massachusetts, 02478. Okay. And, and we're going to be putting all this on our website. Uh, Patty's been working with different media to get the word out. Um, we're trying as much as we can to, to let people know that we are still going to be operational, just not this Sunday or next Tuesday. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us and bringing us up to date. Lori Graham, who is one of the coordinators of the Belmont Food Pantry, tells us the food pantry will be open for business uh, on Saturday, March 21st. You no longer have to be pre-registered. They will be open to distribute uh, uh, pre-packaged bags to anyone. Then they will be closed on Sunday the 22nd and Tuesday the 24th, but that's a temporary closure. If you want to donate, they're welcoming donations. And of course, they will always accept money. Thank you. You've been, you've been watching a, this special edition of the Belmont Journal. We will keep you up to date with uh, goings on in the community and important information about what's happening in the community during this coronavirus uh, uh, crisis. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I will see you again next time. Thank you.